Hi everyone, it's me, Dodge T Dog, and this is a CBBC channel. And um, we've probably got a brilliant day ahead for you, and and probably a bit of Scooby Doo's up next. And um, uh, any minute now, someone will come and help me because I can't oh. find. Oh, Ian, Ian, where have you been? Oh, wow. kill! Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, cool. Cool. oh, oh man, we are exhausted. <laughs> oh, oh, all night. We had a proper lads night in oh, doing yeah. laddish things. Oh yeah. <laughs> And then about town, that's us, mate. <laughs> Have a look at this. <sighs> so, uh, One Direction, who's your favourite? Oh, Harry, obviously. He's so beautiful. Oh. Well, pass us that nail file, will you? Oh, there you go. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> who's yours? Probably Niall. Oh. He's got my hair, and uh, he's just such a nice guy, but it's not about their aesthetics. It's the musical talent that I admire. Mm -hmm. I know. Why don't we play Fess Up or Do It? Oh, yes! Would you rather marry Fern Cotton or Doc Cotton? Doc Cotton. <laughs> She's got such a wedding smile. <laughs> what about you? Um, who's got the smelliest feet in Friday Download? Oof. Uh, Tiger. Pongy. Um, have you ever been on a date with Sue Barker? Well, I couldn't say. Hacker would go crazy. Oh, well, four fears. Ha <laughs> I dare you to call Chris Johnson and tell him you love him. What are you doing? We're having a bit of fun, mate. You bring Yongo into it. You've ruined this. Oh. Stop it. Hey, look, now, come on. Have you two made up yet? We have a bit, haven't we? Just about. But yeah. we're playing Fence and Do. We're not going to ask the questions ourselves. We need you lot at home to email in questions for this man here. So we see at bbc.co.uk. Ask him anything you want, but make it interesting. Oh, what's that to be on Friday Download? We've done it. Yeah. We need it to be new, unique, and Exciting. brilliant. Exciting. Yes, yeah. uh, we'll be looking at some questions for Kel right after Scooby Doo. See you in a bit. Can't believe you yonko him. So, as we were saying before Stakeout, we're, we're really sorry that uh, our rock band, uh, Screaming Crown Revival, didn't get to all the Absolutely. Country. From every town we were meant to visit, from the bottom of our hearts, we apologise. Especially you guys out there in Slough. Sorry we never got there. Very sorry. But it's not really our fault. You see, Jeremy Paxman was our driver, and he just got stuck in the car park. Yeah, actually, why are we apologising? Tell you who should be apologising. Jeremy, I don't need a sat-nav Paxman. I couldn't agree more, Jeff, which is why I dragged him out of the Newsnight studio and made him come down here to apologise to our Screaming Crayon Revival fans. Excellent! All well, right, yes. Jeremy, come up and say what you've got to say. Hey there, everyone! I'm really, really sorry that I messed up the tour for Dan and Jeff! Dan, that isn't Jeremy Paxman. It so is! I so am! No, this is Jeremy Paxman. Well, who's this guy? Ah! The jig's up! It's an imposter! I'll get him! He's gone now. You gotta admit though, he did look a lot like him, didn't he? No, he didn't, Dan. Tell you what, why don't you wave to Sonali? Hey, Sonali. Why don't you use your other hand? Hey, Sonali. No, this hand. Ah! He's back, Jeff! Oh, I can't control him! Oh, I love you, Jeff! Come in! Come in! Mrs. Bottoms, yes. for one solid month of very, very hard manual labour, you've earned your 50 pence check. I'll write it out now. Oh, brilliant! That means I can buy some doors and a window. Oh, the dreams of poor people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, now, Mrs. Bottoms. Oh, one moment. Yeah. This is the residence of Lady Margaret's suitcase. How may I help you? Oh, yes, I'll just check. Is there a Mr. Y. France here? Mr. Y. France? Is there a gentleman? Called Y fronts in my living room. <laughs> I'm looking for Y fronts. <laughs> she said. She said living room. <laughs> uh, I see what's going on here. <clears throat> Hello, Sam and Mark. Yes, I've got your names and number on the call reader. Nice try with your little wind up there. Do you know what, boys? To prevent this from happening again, I'm going to write your number down on my notepad and not on the blank check that I've got out for Mrs. Bottoms because that would be a comedic mix, I wouldn't it? Yes. <laughs> now, let's see, what's your number? It's five zero 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 one. And your area code? The pound sign. How exotic. Right, there we go. Thank you, boys. Good day to you. 
Sorry about that, oh, Mrs. Bottom. Come on, Mrs. Shoot Games. I want my money. My children require feedings. All right, 50 pence. There it is. I've yeah. written it down. Now, here you are. Here is your check. Ooh. One moment. I've written 50p on my notebook. Which I, means you've paid me five million and one pounds, which makes me rich beyond my wildest dreams and your most subdued nightmares. No! Yes. yes what will does. Mrs. Bottoms do with the money? Has Margaret lost everything? And who is this mysterious man? Hello, I'm Mr. Wyfronts. I believe there was a phone call for me. There'll be more Confrontation Street tomorrow. But right now, here's TSOTB. Yeah, yeah. Check us on TV, working in perfect harmony. Oh, is that all right? <laughs> it's Wednesday. Have a listen to this. Welcome to our Wednesday song, stick with it, it won't last long Stare into his foley eyes and see just how quick time flies Just wanted to let you know about all the stuff we show Oh there is no time to waste, I love Wigan and meat paste T-Info C-B-B-C What we got is hard to beat, stupid characters to meet Down on Confrontation Street C-B-B-C me being Tracy Barker, supermarket checkout girl. Please and live on hackers first. C B B C B B C C B B C C B B C C B B C. Why not stick with us a while? We've got the moves, we've got the style, we've got the cheesy winning smile. C B B C. Cause we pack in so much stuff. Oh, that could do with a buff. Yeah, I think they've heard enough. C-B-B-C Yeah Whatever, mate! You are going down! You are going down to lose a town, my friend! That's right, old school! There is no way you're coming back from this! Yeah! Yeah! Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Love you lots. Take care. Bye. Who was that? Oh, Ian, I was just saying how we're going to do better than him and Hacker. Yeah, we're like going to totally wipe the floor with them. Totally! High five! High five! Yeah! What are we going to beat them at? The big scary test. Yeah, the yeah. big scary... The what? The big scary test. Anyway, I've been working on some new song links for our band. Now, no, these no, no, are no, no, a lot no, more complicated. Listen, they're a lot Dan. more complicated than our last Don't lyrics. Don't make remote control. I want you to keep up with this. The song's called Potato. <sighs> now, it comes in and I start going potato, and then you go potato, and then it's mashed potato. <laughs> The big scary test. What big scary test? Well, the big scary test to show that we're up to date on office standards, Jeff. Easy. What? Now. Oh, no, 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 we'll never pass that. Oh, what are we going to do? 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 Relax, Jefferson. Our office standards are second to none, mate. No, they're second to everything, Dan. Last week, when we were meant to be doing our office duties, we, we formed a rock band and we took Friday off for a tour that never even happened. Do you think we could get fired? Okay, we need to stay very calm to work this out, but yes, we will definitely get fired. We're gonna get fired, Jeff! 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 Now it's time for election. This was a great investment. Mrs. Bottoms, you give me back that check for five million and one pounds. I wrote it by mistake. You owe me this. You owe me this after all the years I've spent cleaning for you and your kind. <gasps> anyway, I've lots to be getting on with. Just as soon as I cash this mighty check. Where are you going to do that in such a swift hurry? At this bank that just happens to be in your living room. Excuse me one second. Rather odd. Cashier number five, please. Y'all are right, cockers. Can I cash this inordinately large check? Well, yes, of course you can. Thank you for that. The money will come in handy for me. Ha-ha! <laughs> now I'm rich, and you are very poor, dear Mrs. Suitcase. <laughs> you shall work for me. <gasps> what terrible, dreadful task would you have me do? <gasps> Perhaps she'll make me deworm her pet gibbon in the backyard. No! Worse! What, worse than deworming your pet given in the backyard? Yes, I want you to tap dance to Jebwood's greatest hits. No one should ever have to do that. Do it! <laughs> dance for me, suitcase! Hit <laughs> it! <laughs> <laughs> no one should ever be made to do this! 
Oh, this is just the start of it. I didn't say stop dancing. <laughs> Has Mrs. Bottoms gone mad with wealth and power? Yes. Will Margaret remember to kick ball change in time with the music? Come on. And who am I supposed to be? Mm. Even I don't know. Hey, what I do know is there'll be more from Confrontation Street tomorrow. But right now, here's T-S-O-T-B! Good afternoon, <laughs> this is CBBC with me, Jeff. And, oh, good grief. Sorry, that was incredibly unprofessional. I am. Um, to be fair to me, I, I have been up all night revising through this book for the big scary test of office standards we've got today. Dan was meant to be doing the same, but goodness knows where he is. Can't rely on that guy for anything. What? Don't panic! Don't panic! I can't see! Where am I? You're in the CBBC office. Oh, phew. I thought I'd fallen asleep at work again. You have. You're meant to be revising and it looks like you've spent all day asleep in the office. Hey, don't be so judgmental. <coughs> I was up all night revising, Jeb. Read that book cover to cover. Oh, you. Legend. We might just stand a chance. Yeah, I even made these helpful little <laughs> notepads here. Look at that. Alphabetizing everything with all our notes on it. Oh, you know, I like a good bit of alphabetizing. Yeah, I know. What have you learned? Well, let's have a look, Jeff. P. The secret to make a good pavlova is fresh cream and berries. Yeah, it's very true. A lot of people fall into the... Well, hang on, what, what, what's that got to do with uh, office standards? Don't think it's got anything to do with office standards, Jeff. It's all about pavlovas and desserts. Dan, what book did you read? Oh, this one right here, Jeff. Cover to cover. Brilliant book. Cooking with Kirsten. She loves carrots. Dan, do you not think it would have been more helpful to maybe study this book instead? It's an interesting question, Jeff, and one I don't think we should answer just yet. Well, that's just perfect. That's it. We are completely messed up. We haven't got a hope at all. I mean, nothing could save us now. We're going to get sacked. Nothing could Does save us Does someone no need a Kirsten special recipe flapjack? Well, there's no point getting sacked on an empty stomach, is there? Um, here's steak out. Mmm, steak. <laughs> That was wrong, Ian. It didn't come up quick enough. You're going to put upper game there, read it. Some of your uh, yeah. emails have been sending in. So. Oh, Ian, don't just read them out. That's boring reading them out over time. Speak to somebody on the telephone. Have we, I believe we've got someone on the telephone. Hello? Hello, Hello who's this? I'm Charlotte, and I'm from Rockham Road in Hertfordshire. Oh, hello, hello, Charlotte. Charlotte. You all right? Yeah, I'm a new hacker. Oh, thanks, Charlotte. Thanks, Charlotte. Um, I'm a big fan of your work as well. You, are you a fan of me, Charlotte? Mmm. Good? Brilliant. Not really. Do you prefer Yonko? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Charlotte, you have got a, oh, you've got your game. You're on the telly, come on. All right, Charlotte, how was school? Was it good? Yeah, it's good. Did you write my name on the front of your daughter? No. No? Did you write mine? Um, yeah. Yeah, thought as much. All right, what is your question, Charlotte? Oh! Oh! Oh, oh that wasn't pleasant. <laughs> oh, Ian. <laughs> Charlotte, look at what you've done, Charlotte. Right, what's your question? How much do you know about Robbie Williams? How much do you know about Robbie Williams? I know that he doesn't like a skeleton falling on him. I know that for uh, one thing. He's a wonderful man, Charlotte, and you're a wonderful lady. He Thank likes you very singing much. songs about angels. And See things. you later, Charlotte. Bye, Bye. Charlotte. Bye. Oh, well, Ian, I'm... This link's gone to plan, isn't it's it? It's grazed me on the way down. I think we better, <laughs> better end this because yeah. that girl, he's got to go to A&E. <laughs> All right, thank you everyone that emailed in. Here is the names of people that emailed in. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 7.20. <laughs> right now we're talking about mysteries. That's Goodbye. horrible history down there. Goodbye! Well, Dan, Jeff, you are doing incredibly badly. Oh. Right, the next part of the big scary office test is the talent competition. So let's see, Dan and Jeff, have you got any particular talent? Well, this one we've got down, <laughs> Mr. Dr. Sack, you good. We are Screaming Crown Revival. Rock. And this is our hit single, Cabbages. Hit it! Cabbages! Cabbages! 
Cabbages! Cabbages! Cabbages! Cabbages! Cabbages! Brussels sprouts! Cabbages! 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 Brussels sprouts! Cabbage! What? No, 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 no. You've got this all wrong! Can you sing anything else? Oh, I got a song. Oh, we can sing I Got You, babe! No! Let's see you do I've Got You, babe! Yes, come on, Dan Jeff, give us I've Got You, babe! They say we're young and we don't know We won't find out until we grow Rubbish, Jeff! Can we be a flower child? Well, I don't know if all that's true But you got me and baby, I got you Babe! <laughs> I've got you, babe! What's he doing? No. I've, I've got, got you, babe! Um, um. Uh, I've, got you, I've got you, babe! I've got you, babe! Did you really just do that? Got you, babe? I'm scared, Dan. Jalapeno tongue, you! Uh, no, 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 Monsieur Pompamoose is a French chef. No, it, yeah, you, you must have got confused, we both have moustaches. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, what a mix up. <laughs> What's that? That is not a picture of me. What? It is! That is a picture of Adolf Hitler. What? You can't put a picture of Adolf Hitler bah. on children's television, especially not BAFTA award winning children's channel of the year. Oh. You, you're saying that I look like one of the world's biggest murderers. Hitler was one of the history's most evil men. He was a massive, massive criminal. I do not look like him. You, you've gone too far this time. Right, let me assure you, people of Britain, that my moustache is going to be big, bold and beautiful. Now hush while I admire it. So I'm hoping, Mr Dr Sackygood, that the, the hit with the hammer hasn't counted against us in any way. You know, like in the, I got you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> we got you, babe. What do you think? I, I think you really, really enjoyed it and you're not going to sack us. Yeah, you're right. Oh, <laughs> you! I knew I got you, babe. Really? Yeah. No, not really. You're very probably going to be sacked, but it all depends on the outcome of the next test. Well, what's the next test? The pie test! So if I could invite you to step over into the pie receiving area. Where did you put yes. this up? Here we go. Dan and Jeff, take your, take your places behind the, the pie stencil. Put your heads through the aperture and let's see how well you receive a pie. We're going to eat pie? No, I'm going to throw them in your face. What? Right. No, let's talk about this. No, 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 no. I hope I'm not next! Pie! Turns out I was! Pie! Really? Do you like it? Ah! Da 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 da! Him again, I'm like that! You're living a pie! Live and let pie! Live and let pie! Ah, I love my job! Have you had enough? Yeah, I've had enough! Oh, you have to breathe a pie of relief! Is that right. all you got? What does the klaxon mean? All you mean? Well, stop! I need to know now. Did you enjoy that? What's the right answer? You're supposed to say that you loved it. Oh, then I really liked it. No, liking isn't enough. I said loved it. You failed. Oh, uh, can no. we just watch Sam and Mark's Guide to Dodging Pies? I mean, disaster. I can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> Previously, on Confrontation Street, Margaret's suitcase accidentally paid Mrs. Bottoms five million and one pounds! Mrs. Bottoms, this has got too out of hand! That money has gone straight to your head! Don't give me that! Now go and clean out the zebra enclosure in the East Wing. We don't even have zebras! I know! We don't have an East Wing! Mrs. Bottoms, this joke has gone on far too long! Seriously, it's episode five of a story arc! Look! Look inside yourself! Remember! Who you really are? Bernard Cheesewoman, a flan salesman from Ipswich. What? Oh, nothing. Forget that. Forget I said that. But you are right. I have forgotten my lowly, depressing roots. I'm not cut out for this wealthy and powerful lifestyle. I'm happier swelling out my front step, or settling down to a bit of Tracy Bigger Returns on the CBBC iPlayer, or crying myself to sleep every evening. Things like that. All right.
Hey, back up a bit, cameraman. Don't get too close. I haven't got close-ups in my contract. Mrs. Bottoms, you're back to normal! Yay! And you can have your five million and one quid back. I'll happily go back to being your underling. Smashing news! You can start by licking the gravel off my shoes, you filthy little stinking wretch. Gladly. What a terrible and strange middle-aged woman I am. There'll be more Confrontation Street next week. But right now, here's a brand new episode of Tracy Baker Returns! You love it! Well, that's it, I guess. End of an era. We failed the big scary test of office standards and now we've been sacked. Not necessarily, my petty chum. Right, the only one who knows we've been sacked is Mr. Dr. Sack you good over there, right? Mm-hmm. So, if we remove him, no one knows we've been sacked, Jeff. Just you. I don't want to get you excited, Dan, but I think you've just had your good idea of the year. It did hurt a bit. Take the weight off. Sit okay. down, I'll sort it. Ah! Uh, hi, Doctor. Is that you good? Ooh. You two still here? Yeah. Um, you know what earlier you said you're quite partial to a custard cream with your tea? Oh, yeah, I like a custard cream. <laughs> just so happens, coincidentally, um, we don't like them. So we actually have a massive stockpile of them, just in the state. You'd be doing us a favour. Yeah, in the state we cover. Always help you out with the custard there. cream. Yeah. Like yeah, custard just cream. in there. Check it? Could you, could yeah, you get me one? That'd be lovely. Let's go right here. Right through. Right through. Yeah, right through. Yeah, right through. Yeah, right through. Let me help you. Well, oh dear. That went very well, I think. <laughs> ah, we got you! Oh, we got you! Go! Oh, you totally did. Oh. You got us. Right, so we're definitely not sacked then. No, it was just a big joke. It was mainly Hacker's idea. It was funny. Yeah, it was. It was. You're I hope you guys aren't too annoyed though. No, no yeah, not fine. at all. No, well, everything's turned out all right in the end, then, hasn't it? Yeah. Apart, apart from hackers, mate, Phil, that we fed. Ah, uh, uh, everything, everything, everything's turned out all right in the end, isn't it? Yeah, you didn't like him anyway. Did he you? disgusts me. He disgusts you. <laughs> yeah, I really did. Yeah. Well, you're going to try and get your own back now, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, we what are. You do? Oh, Ed, we're going to get you back. Maybe not today. Huh? Maybe not tomorrow, hacker. Huh? But someday, <gasps> when you least expect it, we will come up with a plan. So complex. Oh, so complicated. So Okay. You will not see it coming, see it and we will coming. laugh at you for a hundred days and another day as well. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Daniel. Revenge! Didn't see that coming, did they? No, they didn't. Right, you. Let's go. We'll see you a lot tomorrow. See you tomorrow! <laughs> <laughs>